close your eyes and watch your breath. Try to stay with the breath all the way in, all the way out. As for anything else, you just let it go. You've got to get some control over your mind. And exercise some restraint. Restraint is of two kinds. One is the things you let in from outside. Right now you don't want to let anything else in from outside. The sounds, of course, will come to your ear. The feelings will come as the body touches the floor or the, or the seat you're on. But you don't have to pay attention to those things. You pay attention to what you've set your mind on, which is to be with the breath. And try to maintain this. Even as you get up and leave the meditation, try to have a sense of being centered here in the breath. And then you begin to see that you're bombarded with things from outside. So you have to be very picky about what you choose to focus on and how you focus. Because if you're not careful, it's like opening your door and allowing thieves to come into your house. All the good things in the house get stolen. And who can you blame? After all, you were the one who opened the door and let them in. The other kind of restraint is what comes out in terms of your actions, in terms of your words. In other words, what you let out into the neighborhood. If you find that you've got some wild animals in your house, at the very least try to keep them caged up. Don't let them out to run rampant around the neighborhood. In other words, if greed, aversion, and illusion come up in the mind, make sure that you don't act on them. Just because a thought comes into your mind doesn't mean it's something you want to run with. It doesn't even mean that it's yours. It's just things that get churned up from your old karma. And at this moment you're not responsible for that. What you're responsible for is the choices you make about what to do with those things. So try to make sure that greed and aversion and delusion don't come out in your words, don't come out in your, in your deeds. So in this way, basically, it's a matter of learning how to keep the windows and doors of your house open and shut at the right times. And when good things are outside, things that would be good for you, you open the windows and open the doors, let them in. And when you've got good things inside, you can let them out. But when you discover, discover that, okay, there are thieves waiting at the door or there are wild animals waiting inside, keep the door shut. And this way you can live in the world and not be harmed by the world, and you don't, don't do any harm to them either. This is one of the basic principles of the Buddhist teachings. How do we find happiness without doing harm? You look at the way that most people find happiness throughout the world, and that some harm is done one way or another. But if you focus on developing these qualities of mind inside, this quality of restraint, okay, then you can couple that with a meditation which teaches you how to find a sense of well-being inside. That way you find that you have your happiness without the harm, either to yourself or to anybody else. So make sure you look at the consequences of what you're doing, the way you look for happiness. Because it's the consequences that are going to have the long-term effect. And you may be able to find some pleasures right now that will in the long term lead to suffering. Do you want those? You've got to think in these terms all the time. You really do have to be careful about the actions you choose to follow. And one of the reasons we meditate is to give you a sense of well-being so you're not feeling frazzled by Resisting, to, resisting your urges. You've got something good here inside that you can develop. Okay, make sure you make the most of it.